This is Viewpoints Radio. I'm Annie Kroll. This week, I spoke with the founder of Samuel Adams and the Boston Beer Company, Jim Cook. We discussed this summer's trend of Spike Seltzer and how his company is making sure everyone wants to grab a delicious can of truly spiked seltzer. I asked how a veteran brewer and one of America's top craft brewing companies got into the Spike Seltzer arena. I've been a fan of Angry Orchard, which is another one of Cook's products from the Boston Beer Company, long before I knew they produced Spike Seltzer as well. So I was a big fan of yours even before I knew you were part of Truly and this Twisted Tea. You got a lot under your belt. I am very impressed. Um, uh, well, I've been doing this for 35 years, and you know, I, I, I mean, I get bored, and I'm, I get very excited every day because you know there are great, cool, you know, new beverages. Um, to innovate. Stereotypically, spike seltzers are for individuals in their 20s hoping to stay slim with the low-calorie and low-sugar beverage. But Cook wanted his brand to be a part of the phenomenon, too. And when you're a man of ideas and a beverage empire, you tend to have some grand insights. His products are top-notch and continue to push the spike seltzer market to new levels by creating distinctive flavors that cater to a variety of tastes. But Chelsea Phillips, vice president of Anheuser-Busch's Beyond Beer portfolio, says that most Americans haven't even heard of Spike Seltzer, including her company's version of the vodka soda drink called Bon Vive. What has been unique about beverage popularity in 2019? I know you said that Bon Bon Vive has been very successful. Um, How did that kind of come about with the trends like White Claw and like Truly, and now you guys have Bon Vive? Like, what does that look like for you guys to make sure you can compete in this now very trendy beverage market? Yeah, I think trendy is the right word, but the interesting thing about this is that we really believe that this sort of phenomenon is just beginning because 60% of the United States still claims to be unaware of hard seltzer overall. Um, So for us, the name of the game is on innovation. So yesterday we launched Natty Seltzer because we want to give options for people who potentially don't want to pay out of pocket for what the current market is charging. And then on the other hand, with Bon and Viv, offering new flavors as well as our classic unflavored variant to really hero the better taste that we believe our product has. To hear more about how beer icons are raising the bar for Spike Seltzers, check out the full story wherever you listen to podcasts and on viewpoints.org. Also follow Viewpoints Radio on Twitter and Instagram for more behind the scenes.